Good morning, everybody. Hello, Pleasant Park. It's ready for mental math number six with our junior grades today. Uh, once again, you need a sheet of paper, a pencil, your good mental memory to figure out your math problems, and a different color pencil or marker to mark with. So this is called mental math number six that we're doing today. And I'd like you to put uh, in the left-hand margin uh, numbers 1 to 10, numbers 1 to 5 are simply numbers that you have to write, and a lot of them are dealing with decimals again today, because that's what we're into. So I'll read the question twice. Please feel free to pause it at any time if you need to. Here we go. Question number 1. 4,800 and 11 hundredths. Four thousand eight hundred and eleven hundredths. Number two, sixty three thousand four hundred eleven and eighteen hundredths. Remember, and always denotes. The decimal. So when I say and, this is the decimal coming. Number two again is 63,411 and 18 hundredths. Number three, 909 and 9 hundredths. Number three again, 909 and 9 hundredths. Number four, 909 and 9 tenths. 909 and 9 tenths. Number five, our very, very last one that uh, we're going to be doing today, that is uh, a number, is 999 hundredths. Number five again. 900 and 99 hundredths. Now, the next ones, uh, you simply do the mental math in your head. Sometimes I might give you uh, help with a hand signal. Kind of helps you out a little bit, so just pay attention. Here we go. 26 plus 26 plus 26 plus 26 plus 26. Plus 26. Number six again. 26 plus 26 plus 26 plus 26. Number 7. 50 multiplied by 5 plus 0 decimal 1. You might think this is a tough one, but it really isn't. Number 7. 50 multiplied by 5 plus decimal 1. Number 8, 20 multiplied by 2 plus 40 plus 0 decimal 1. Number 8 again, 20 multiplied by 2 plus 40 plus decimal 1. Now, number nine, I would like you to tell me what two over five is as a decimal. So two-fifths as a decimal is what? I'll give you a hint for that one. Maybe changing two-fifths, changing your denominator from a five to a ten might be a little bit easier. So think about how you could do that. And the last one, number ten, two-fifths plus two-fifths equals what? Number 10 again, 2 fifths plus 2 fifths equals what? Feel, please feel free to pause this at any time. We're going to start to go over our mental math right now. Here's our first one. Number 1, 4800 decimal 1, 1. Number 2, Six three four one one 
decimal one eight. Number three is nine zero nine decimal zero nine because it's nine hundredths. Number four is nine zero nine decimal nine because the nine this time is in the tenths. Number five is nine zero zero decimal nine nine. Now number six, think of the twenty sixes like twenty fives. 25 plus 25 is 50, 50 plus 25 is 75, 75 plus 25 is 100. Four quarters make 100. But we have one extra in each column, so that's one extra, so add four. So 25 and 25, 25, 25 is 100, plus four, 104 is the total. Number seven, 50 multiplied by five. Well, five times five is 25, and when you have it multiplied by 10, you add a zero. So 5 times 5 is 25, add a 0, it's 250. 250 plus 0 0.1 is 250.1. Number 8 uh, is a similar situation. 20 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, add a 0, it's 40. 40 plus 40 is 80. 80 plus 0 0.1 is 80.1. Now, number 5, 2 fifths. We can make this as sometimes a little bit easier to make it out of 10. So let's make the denominator out of 10. So 5 times 2 is 10. So if we multiply the bottom by 2, we have to multiply the top by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So 2 fifths is the same as 4 over 10, which is just the same as the decimal 0 0.4. Number 10, the last one's really easy. 2 fifths plus 2 fifths is 4 fifths. The denominator doesn't change when you add fractions. It always stays the same. So it's over 5. That won't stay the same. The only thing you do is you add the two numbers at the top. It's 4 fifths. Please give yourself a mark out of 10. Uh, on that, I hope you're getting better at it. Uh, I'm trying to give you some strategies for it, and we'll see you again to do another one. Uh, and please email your teacher and let them know how well you did. Have a good rest of your day, Pleasant Park, and please stay safe.